Uh, this is going to be a video uh, for one of those uh, days that everything has gone right so far. I mean, everything. I got one amazing, long-awaited TTM from overseas uh, in the mail. That was the only thing that came in the mail. I went to FYE. If you have one of those close to you, they might have t-shirts on sale. And I got this Delta House uh, t-shirt for two bucks. Um, it's a small, but um, for two bucks, I don't care. And I got a couple other shirts. Um, and I went to uh, the other car shop across town and got some uh, multi, uh, uh, I mean, some uh, grab bags. And those are three for a buck. And we'll get into those really quickly. I also got a neat photograph and I got some postcards. So we'll get into that real, really quickly here. Let me just angle the camera down a little bit so we can see what we're looking at. Um, I do. These are 35 cents a piece or three for a dollar. Let's clear these out of the way and we'll look at those in just a second. And um, the first one I got here has got Pedro Martinez on the top of it. And I bought these just to see what is in there. I, my buddy Paxi's. Uh, there's a Jose Canseco. So he puts stars on, on the top and the bottom and just puts whatever. So there's those. And we'll just go through these really quickly. Dunstan, Milligan, Diamond Skills, Barry Bonds, Wrigley Field. Sometimes they look like they have uh, pulled from sets and they took out the big cards, the stars or whatever. Scott Livingston, Steve Fry, Lavalier, Templeton, McCrane. And these are great for autograph requests or fan packs or whatever you would call it. So that's what you get in the middle there. But again, 35 cents. You couldn't even get one of them. You couldn't even get that Mike Smithson uh, for 35 cents on the internet. We'll go to the next one here. This one had uh, Tom Landry on the top of it. That's worth 35 cents right there. Probably about a dollar. And then on the other side, we have some sort of card show. I don't know what it is. Some promo from a card show. The Crescent City. Some Oh, wow, that's neat. Jerome Bettis card show promo or something. I'm going to put that off to the side. That's awesome. Oh, wow. Look at this. All right, we got Jim Kelly. Steve Bono. This is a great one. Jim Harbaugh. Bruce Smith. That's a neat card. Uh, Steve Bono. Michael Westbrook. William Thomas. Curtis Martin, so they're very generous with their commons and semi-stars in there. Chad Jennings. I've, I've built like three quarters of a set from some of these one time. I don't know who that is. I have to go through these really quickly. Another Bettis, Charles Johnson, Brian Blades, Ray Zellers. I've got a, like four more of these, so that's why I have to go through really quickly. And the really amazing Tom Landry upper deck card, the legendary leaders. That's neat. That's card number 140. <clears throat> this one here is a baseball one. Roger Clemens on one side and Mark McGuire on the other side. <clears throat> so if all the other cards are duds in the inside, the two on the outside, there's the Duracell Clemens. McGuire in a penny sleeve. Tom Murphy. Hector Santiago. I might need these for my set. Freddie Freeman opening day. Araldis Chapman, Mike Kruko, Dennis Lamp, Vance Law, Dan Plezak, Dan Petrie, uh, Gene Larkin, Joe Hesketh, Bo Diaz, Mike Morgan, Steve Sachs, McCaskill, Tanana, Black, Tim Raines, Scott Leyes, Alan Mills, Lance Parrish, and Tom Brunanski. Um, I may have to do this in two videos. This is just... I mean the cards and the other purchases. Um, we got a basketball one with Carlos Boozer on the top of it. Mobley, Houston, uh, Raheem, uh, Milosic, uh, Michael Red, Olajuwon, Pip. Sorry about that. Okay, the last one was Manu Ginobili, I believe. All right, the next one here, we got a baseball one here. We got two more to go. This one had a TCM, I'm sorry, yeah, 1977 TCMA, Phil Rizzuto and Penny Sleeve. And then it had a U Darvish on the other side. I know who that might go to. Uh, Garneau, Ginter, Peralta, Murphy, Paul O'Neill, Joe Girardi, Jim Gantner, Fred Tolver, Steve Curry, Dunstan and somebody else stuck to it. Dunstan and Molitor. Tony Armas. Al Newman. Steve Olin. Tony Phillips. Alan Trammell. Mike Boddicker. Eisenreich. Montgomery. Houston. Briley. Dykstra. And Downs. 
And last but not least, I don't know why I grabbed this one, but there's a Move On on this side, and there's a Jeff Bagwell on the other side. There were some other really sweet ones, but I just, oh man, I just didn't want to mound up my whole place with cards. So we got Bagwell, Tommy, Bill, Almar, no, I'm sorry, Almar, Ramirez, Williams, Biggio, Pettit, uh, Barry Larkin, Jay Buhner I did not have. I don't know, maybe I do. I was working on one of those, uh, oh, that's a flare showcase. No, I wasn't. I thought this was a top score label. Barry Larkin, David Justice. Ooh, and we got a neat Albert Bell here. I haven't seen those in years. Uh, Javier Lopez, Roberto Almar, Eric Caros, Larry Walker, Rafael Palmero, Albert Bell, Albert Bell, Kurt Schilling, Andy Pettit, David Justice, Gary Sheffield, Fred McGriff, and move on. Well, I got a lot of Hall of Famers and semi Hall of Famers and a lot of cool and soon to be Hall of Famers and all that good stuff in there. So I'm going to quickly go through these here. These are the postcards I got from the Antique Photo Place. And I spent eight bucks there. And I got the Wee Kirk of the Heather Glendale, California. And this is uh, Norwalk, California for my California. San Fernando Valley State College and it has a Van Nuys on the back of it oh geez there we go that's quality for you this duds for you Ronald Reagan slam campaign or whatever you call it Fresno California Holiday Inn Hawaiian Trees and Flowers uh, Alpine Meadows California Orange Groves, California. Uh, the Geysers, California. Hawaii Sugar Cane, or whatever it is, growing, see, harvesting. Sherwood Inn of Tacoma, Washington. Los Angeles Con County Museum of Art. That's old. And we got the Foothills of Ojai, California. Canceled Ojai, California. Really neat. Those are 25 cents a piece. This was $5, and I have purchased the Yerba Buena Island California Naval Training Station Bugle Squad. I mean, that's amazing. That's like turn of the previous century. That's just really crazy and amazing. Um, that was 5 bucks for this. A huge picture. This is like 8.5 by 11 or 9 by 12 or something. It's huge. Yeah, I think it's more like 9 by 12. And this was five bucks. I don't know what he originally wanted it for it, but and I guess Marcus was the guy that uh, this belonged to, or it was part of his family. But really cool, awesome picture to have. Really neat a historical document. I'll research that some more. Really cool. That's probably Circle World War One or something like that. Amazing. And last but not least, what you've been waiting for. Um, I'll edit some clips in for this here. Oh, there's my Harold Baines uh, Gem Nine. Uh, I'm sorry, Mint Nine down there autograph um, a long time ago I really enjoyed a video on YouTube and I'll put the link for it um, it was called uh, wait forever I think Estiva and Cardinal featuring um, I, I can't remember who, who was featuring the song but I really enjoyed the video the uh, the, the young lady and the young man in the, in the uh, video dancing at some sort of a restaurant type place uh, you know during closing hours or whatever really neat video and it's really fun to watch, and I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll leave the link for it below. I think it was put out in 20, 2012, I think the video was, and it's got 257,000 views or something on it. Um, so I wrote to the people who were responsible for the video, uh, Suzanne James and Darren um, Teal. And, and um, it says, Dear Henry, first of all, let me apologize for such a late reply. It's been like three years. I mislaid your letter when we moved and just found it. Secondly, thank you so much for your kind words about a Steva video, Wait Forever. We loved making the video and had so much fun closed down McDonald's at 3 a.m. This is from the UK. Um, the dancers are friends of ours who are in into Lindy Lin, something hop at the time, so aren't actors, I'm afraid. But we still work with them lots, especially in videos. We made for a charity in Cambodia called Epic 
something. I can't read it. Epic something. Epic Arts or something. We have enclosed one of the aprons that our friends wore in the video signed by us. Hope you like it. Best wishes from England, Suzanne and Darren. And that's what you will see in the video shortly. Um, they wore this red and white striped um, apron. And amazing. I'm going to have to um, move the camera. I mean, this is going to be a long video, but I don't care. This is awesome. It says, Henry, our number one fan, thanks for the greatest, the great letter and postcard. Best wishes, Suzanne. And to Henry, thank you for your letter. I'm glad you liked the video. All the best, Darren. I mean, it, amazing. Um, the apron has, like, been snipped off on the end there, but, and there's the other strap there. Really awesome. I, I, I just can't, I just can't believe it. Um, a video that I have enjoyed for years on YouTube, a music video. I mean, and uh, that is just going to go in my forever collection. That, I just, that's just uh, too generous. Like I said, it was just, I was blown away by the letter and the apron. I mean, I thought that was gone forever. And that's why we say in the autograph community, um, things are never gone. I've seen people get stuff five, six, seven, eight, ten years later. And with apologies or thank yous, or I've seen people get huge boxes. It's happened to me. Uh, a coach from a basketball team sent me a whole huge FedEx box full of memorabilia and stuff and uh, um, so I've got a long process ahead of, of um, catching up on, on postcards um, mm -hmm. this stuff uh, you know um, care packages going off to people eventually that's amazing I mean I know uh, I promised one off to Jason and Steve and they'll get some some of this maybe and some other things I have in my collection I just really just I'm at loss for words of all the generosity that's been going on recently, and I'm not getting into any of the politics. Like I said, uh, a few a few um, uh, confused people over the weekend and and um, people with hurt feelings. But um, like I said, what it really boils down to is having the good old fashioned fun, and I make fun uh, work on a dime. And I had a fun time doing it, and that's the best medicine for me. And that will um, prompt me to get, get rid of this rotten cold. So um, let me know what you enjoyed about this video. And there's my gem. I keep calling it gem. It's probably great as a 9, Harold Baines' uh, Hall of Fame autograph. So I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, thank you for watching. And be sure to check out the video. Thanks. What's up?